season and I'm on a mission this afternoon to take out a boar that's took over this little area where I'm hunting. Um, this is where I got a nice little buck showing up. I want my kids to get him. However, this boar is beating him in here every evening and I got the same situation in another stand. So I'm going to hit this one first wind was better at this spot and it would be great if I if this dude would come on out and I could kill him and jump over to the other stand before dark and kill that one that's showing up right at dark war hogs are a menace they are terrible people I hope you never have to encounter them but if you live in the dirty south got them and they are bad to the bone so kill them by the dozen and when I kill these another will take up within a week yep, they'll move in and out so I'm not eliminating the problem I'm hopefully just giving a small window to allow my kids to harvest the deer they want before another one comes in and very seldom does a buck go toe to toe with a boar hog they just don't like the boars or hogs at all so that's my agenda for today. Stay tuned. Hopefully I can get it done. Peace out. So I got it. I'm reloading. So I can go to the other stand as quick as quick can be and try to kill that big boy. Because he's been showing up right at dark. This one dropped. I will come get him tomorrow. Sure, he was the big one I was looking for, but he'll do. Just trying to swab out this barrel real quick as best I can. So when I reload, it's as clean as possible. Day 60 of not eating meat for deer season. Deer camp production's coming to you. I shot a hog, big boar hog yesterday afternoon, just uh, 40 yards from my trap, and here that big dude lay. Um, it was trying to rain last night, and I had to help another guy get a other hog out of the woods, which was actually a sow, which is actually good to eat. This one was a boar he's not good to eat so uh, and then my trap yeah I don't know if you can see it through this but a trap is 40 yards there a big boar hog is typically not gonna go into a trap I mean it happens but it's a rarity typically they're trap shy just by their nature so you, you'll catch smaller boars you'll catch sows with a bunch of shoats Typically the big boars, unless you got one of these really nice, uh, you know, you know, electronic uh, remote control trap doors, typically you're not going to get the biggest of the boars in the traps. So that leaves only one way really to eliminate them, and that's by just harvesting them as I did yesterday. This was with the muzzleloader. I had to eliminate this hog so that the deer would feel comfortable to come back in here so my kids can kill more deer because I'm buck tagged out. However, 
I got a few doe tags left and this beast of a hog. I don't know if you can see how yes, he's, he's, he's well over 200 pounds. And since I'm already having back problems, soreness from sitting in uncomfortable stands, chairs, lock-ons, climber stands for hours upon hours, days upon days, my back is weak, my back is tender, and it's really sore. So because of that, I'm fixing to hook a rope up to this dude, tie the other end of my trailer hitch on the side by side, and I'm gonna drag his stanky butt right down the middle of the blacktop and get him away from this spot. So it'll be fun. I'll try to get a video of that too. For you haters out there, all I can say is hate away. You're gonna hate anyway, so have fun doing it. This little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. So, uh, day 60, following up from me, uh, dragging off the boar that I killed yesterday. I thought I had got the target boar and I might have. I, I still don't know if it's a target boar or not, but I just want to show you. I checked the camera and this was after I shot the boar yesterday evening. This is what the camera shows and instantly into night and there is a big sow and suddenly Oh, that was a boar, but suddenly hog explosion, as you can see. I mean, no deer in the right mind wants to come around this nonsense. So, you see all those little bitty cute pigs? Those little bitty cute pigs? Yeah, they're real cute. They grow into be big pigs. Pest, nuisance, mean boars. Deer in his right mind and coming around this nonsense. So, I did put out more corn there because I thought I might just get a deer happy to come back in. You see, see these little fellas that are laying down? Uh, what deer wants to come eat corn that a hog has done rolled around in, pissed, pooped, and drug his butt through? They don't. So wild hogs are a problem, people. We got to deal with them. So this is uh, 30 yards from my trap. I did put out more corn this afternoon. I just went and got that one. These hogs will be back tonight. They'll eat up all the corn. Um, then they'll come back the next day, and I won't put corn out there. I'll really heavily put corn in my trap. Hopefully, I'll kill every one of them. And at that time, I will execute every last one of these corn-eating jokers. Some of these actually might be edible because if it's a sow and it's good shape, we'll see. Acorns are just starting to drop, so not very much fat on the hog right now. All the boars, buzzards and worms got to eat too. So this is just an update. It is October 23rd, and basically I'm killing hogs so my kids can kill deer. When it comes to trapping, I have raccoons get in the trap every night. They throw the trap that blocks me from trapping the hogs. So I've got to trap the coons just so I can trap and kill the hogs just so I can hunt the deer. It's a process, people. You don't want it either. Peace out.